Hello, this is Scott. Hopefully you joined me before. Um, this is a series on data science um, and different tools and applications, um, as well as, you know, uh, different techniques and, and problems in data science and advanced analytics. So I'm continuing on the series of uh, in R right now in our studio. Um, Last time we talked about the taxonomy of exponential smoothing methods, and um, this time we're going to talk about uh, some of the innovations. Um, both these last or last time and today, we aren't going to actually cover any RR studio. We're really kind of setting up. We're classifying models and we're um, developing the taxonomy. So. Um, Bear with me. The next time we're actually going to, be, going to be talking about estimating these exponential smoothing um, uh, state space models in our VR studio. I will try to make this pretty brief and um, and non mathematical. But if you look at, um, just, we just need to cover a few terms and and topics. So you know, innovations in state space models. Um, the exponential smoothing methods that we talked about last time really generate point forecast. And so now we're introducing statistical models. And so they can have the same point forecast as previous, but they, um, so they generate the, the, the point forecast. But in addition, um, they also generate predictions, right, or uh, forecast intervals. And how do we do this? The same statistical type things that we've used previously, uh, you know, your parameter estimates, and then you estimate the error, and then you create the error bounds, and those error bounds are created normally on some sort of parametric modeling. We're going to use a normal distribution um, for uh, most our modeling assumptions uh, currently, um, and then we create the bounds on the error, right? Um, and so, each model has um, the observed measurement equation, and then we have some sort of state equation, and that's unobserved, and it can, has really three different components, um, the level, the trend, and the seasonal change over time, and these are different states, right? And so these are called state space models um, is, is the classification. So, um, it, if you remember last time we had designations, we had we created a, 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 a nine nine different categories based on seasonal and trend, and now we're going to add a third component, um, and it's the um, uh, we're going to add the, the different types of error, right? So when we talk about um, these ETS models, right, um, then we talk about the error trend and, and seasonal components, right? So now we've, we've created, again, we had that um, two-way classification of uh, uh, trend and seasonal, and then now we're adding a third dimension of, of categories. All right, so each one is just an ETS, uh, error, trend, seasonal. Let's just look at a couple of the examples and I'll end. All right, so um, if you have, you know, no trend or no seasonality, that's a simple exponential smoothing with additive errors here. The, the A designates the, the additive types of errors. Um, if, you, if you make that M, it's, it's simple exponential smoothing with multiplicative errors. Um, we've certainly talked a lot about whole winners methods. Um, if you have, um, the additive uh, component here, then that's just a Holtz linear method um, or multiplicative. So anyway, some examples, I think, think you probably get it, a lot of different um, modeling types, and there's actually quite a bit of math um, behind this as well, um, random walks, what, what the different components of these things do, but I'll leave that to, to you um, because next time we want to get into actually estimating some of these models. All right, so with that, I will end. Uh, thank you very much for joining.